from Television 9, Washington's news station. This is Eyewitness News at noon. Good afternoon. I'm Bob Dalton. I'm Andrea Rowan. A local success story took a tragic turn this morning. Len Bias, the Maryland University basketball star on his way to becoming a world champion Boston Celtic, died of an apparent heart attack today at Leland Memorial Hospital in Prince George's County. Dave Satter is at the College Park campus of the University of Maryland with this live update. Andrea, this is Washington Hall. This is where Len Bias collapsed early this morning in this dormitory here on the University of Maryland campus. He was talking to some friends early this morning when he collapsed. Doctors say he died of a heart attack, cardiopulmonary arrest, but what that means or what caused that heart attack, we don't know. And at this point, we don't know what the real cause of death for this 22-year-old rising star of the Maryland basketball team and eventually the Boston Celtics. He, uh, Bias was rushed to Leland Hospital early this morning by ambulance. Following him to the hospital were friends and relatives and fellow basketball players from the University of Maryland campus. A lot of people came from the nearby Adelphi community. Uh, Bias went to Northwestern High School, not far from the hospital. Many of his friends showed up at the hospital, obviously very upset over this news and this latest turn and the end of this tragic career for the University of Maryland basketball star. From what we understand, CPR, cardiopulmonary resuscitation, was started right away as soon as Bias collapsed by some people that were with him uh, in the room here at Washington Hall. And Prince George's County Ambulance took him to the hospital, and Dr. Edward Wilson of Leland Hospital worked on Bias. Uh, at this point, it's uh, cardiorespiratory arrest. Uh, it's now a coroner's case. Uh, the body will be sent to Baltimore. Further information will come out of that department. We don't know what caused the death. He was circulating blood well, so it looked like there was no internal bleeding. So it had to be somewhere in the primary pump area, which is the heart. And uh, that was the part that was not working. A morgue wagon took print, uh, the body to the medical examiner's office in Baltimore, where an autopsy will be performed. The cause of the death not determined. The only thing we know is that Bias's heart stopped. Prince George's County homicide detectives have been investigating this death, just a routine death investigation at this point. They came to Washington Hall here at the University of Maryland to talk to friends and talk to anybody who knows about Bias's whereabouts in the last couple of hours. Once again, the case is wide open. Homicide investigators say they have recently talked to uh, Coach Lefty Drizel, or we're going to be doing that in uh, the last hour or so to try to find out any information that the coach can provide on Bias's whereabouts and uh, anything that they can tell him about possibly what led to the heart attack that, uh, uh, that took Bias's life early this morning. Now, uh, Eyewitness News sports reporter James Brown has talked to some of the players on the Maryland basketball team and some of the people who were with Bias in the last couple hours of his life. From what we've been able to piece together so far is that Len Bias came back from Boston yesterday. He had been talking to reporters. He had a physical there from what we've, under one, what we've been able to piece together. And he came back and he talked to a lot of his friends at University of Maryland here on the campus uh, yesterday evening. We understand from these players and friends that Bias was somewhat frustrated and somewhat annoyed by all the press coverage and a lot of the questions he was being asked. Somewhere around 2 o'clock this morning, from what we've been told, Bias left his friends at the University of Maryland for about an hour or so and did not come back to the campus till shortly after 3. That's when he came to Washington Hall and he joined fellow basketball players from the University of Maryland, Terry Long and David Gregg. Those two players were with Bias this morning when he apparently collapsed. According to one of those two, Bias had a seizure of some sort. He stopped breathing and one of those two players, Long or Gregg, we understand, perform CPR, cardiopulmonary resuscitation, to try to get Bias breathing again, his heart going. But of course, that did not happen, and paramedics and doctors were unable to do so. Once again, 22-year-old Len Bias, star forward from the University of Maryland basketball team, and eventually it was hoped the Boston Celtics is now dead. If more information becomes available, we will be sure to report it to you. From University of Maryland, I'm Dave Statter, Eyewitness News. Len Bias's death comes at a time when that young man was at the top of the basketball world. Just two days ago, he was the second selection in the NBA College Draft, and the champion Boston Celtics would be the team that would have reaped the benefits of his talents. James Brown talked with Bias Tuesday about the selection. The coach, coach our back, well, the manager our back, and he told me that uh, he told me that I wasn't going to get much, I wasn't going to stop, but I was going to get a lot of playing time, probably be the sixth man. When it all came down, were you really hoping that it could have been Boston in the end? Yeah, I really was hoping that it was Boston, and my dream came true. Celtics coach K.C. Jones reacted with shock and sadness when he heard the news of Bias's death and said the young man had emerged from recent physical examinations with a perfect record. 
Celtic star Larry Bird said it's the cruelest thing he's ever heard of. Many scouts considered the Washington native to be the best athlete in the draft. Bias was the Atlantic Coast Conference Player of the Year this past season. He played high school ball at Northwestern and Delphi before being recruited by the University of Maryland. Bias could have entered professional basketball at the start of his junior year, but chose to stay in College Park and graduate. We'll have more on the tragic sudden death of Glenn Bias later in the show.